Hey, what's up you guys? It is time for the 2014 State of the Office Report. We'll be looking around the office, see what changed, see what didn't change, and that kind of thing. I really like this kind of stuff. I like to see how people work, their environment they set up in, how they work, uh, because I'm pretty sure I'm doing it wrong. So I like to see what other people do and compare what I do and then try what they do and see if it works better than what I do and do that sort of thing. I like coffee. Do you like coffee? I like coffee. So let's look around the room. Oh, probably start with the floor. This is all new flooring. This is a laminate wood kind of thing. Uh, it's, uh, we, we replaced most of the carpet in the house with this stuff. We really like it. It's very pretty. It's good for upstairs, downstairs, noise insulation. Cause it's like 12 mil thick with a two millimeter or a three millimeter underlayment. So it's, it's very quiet upstairs, downstairs. And it's very easy to take care of. We have three cats and a seven year old. So, uh, our carpet was basically dead anyway. So really like this stuff. When you get this kind of stuff, you're going to need a decent, uh, fatigue mat for a standing desk. Before I had carpet and I mostly used it, sometimes I'd throw like a rug or a yoga pad down there too. You got hardwood floor, you need to invest in a decent fatigue mat. This is like a imprint, uh, something imprint cloud comfort. It's like $60 on Amazon. It's a very, very good fatigue mat. It bounces back well from your feet and it, uh, it's just very good and it's at 60 bucks sounds a lot for like you know a piece of foam but they're really engineered very well and they're very comfortable and if you're going to have a standing desk on a hardwood surface or a hard surface you need a decent fatigue mat going around the room we still have our hinge loaded uh door hinges so uh they can close with like 18,000 pounds per square inch of force, thereby killing anyone in my door for you when my door's closed, which is good. Down here, we, oh, we've upgraded our uh, door stop from a brick to a series of books by Henry David Thrun. So uh, I can't kill zombies with that, but it does you know, hold the door open. Ooh, new bag, new bag. This is a North Face a yellow thing. Uh, it has padded areas for like a your notebook and your tablet kind of stuff. Very good bag. Best backpack I've ever owned because I usually buy just crap. So I splurged a little, splurged a little bit for that. Now we used to have a plastic set of drawers here, and we replaced it with because uh, it was jank. We replaced it with uh, IKEA drawers, which are uh, Swedish kind of jank but they're much much better than the plastic drawers um the, the nice thing about plastic drawers is when you're done with them uh you can just give them a hefty kick and it just uh, collapses into its constituent atoms and then you can just sweep it up can't do that with this but it looks much nicer and it matches my other stuff which is important should anybody get by the spring door stuff should match over here we have a cabinet, same one we had last year, still works great. Guitars, I won't nerd out here too much. Uh, well, I will, because any amount of nerd out on the guitars is gonna be too much. So we're just gonna nerd out too much. Okay, all the guitars are basically the same, except I threw out the Line 6 Variax because I uh, didn't like it. We've got this uh, Ibanez S-Series thin bodied mahogany, which is quite a nice guitar. But the guitar I'm really playing right now is Frank, my Frankenstrat. Uh, it's a Fender blacktop body, but it's that's really the only thing Fender left on it. I totally swapped out the pick guard. So this is a new distressed pick guard. And I threw out the Fender humbucker pickups because Fender humbucker pickups are shit. So this is a, a Seymour Duncan JB and a Jazz and a DiMarzio something other, I forget. But very good. And it's got two coil splits here. So wide variety of extremely good sounds. Uh, let's see, Planet Waves locking tuners. Uh, this is a Warmoth neck with scalloped frets. Uh, I never had a scalloped fret guitar before. 
Uh, I like it and I hate it at the exact same time. Mostly I like it though. But in terms of quality build, best neck I ever know. Warmoth kids, they know what they're doing. And when I change strings next, I'm going to replace these vintage uh, saddles with like just some graph tech. Because these vintage fender block, these fender vintage saddles are like these bent metal things that are very uncomfortable when your palm rests here. And my palm rests here a lot. So that's going to get swapped out. All the other guitars are the same. Ikea chair, very comfy. Can't remember if I had that last time or not. Very comfy. Hey, see that plant? See that plant? Still alive a year later. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yes. So, all the guitars run into the line six. Uh, I've tried other things because I fall out of like with the line six. So I don't exactly love it, but for a wide variety of tones, it's 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 just very, very good, very convenient. Though we're still going into the line six. Got a monitor down here at chair level that's hooked to the PlayStation. And it's also hooked to a Chromecast. The Chromecast, I like it, but the, the word that comes out of my mind whenever I think of the Chromecast is limited. It does good things for a limited amount of things. If I had to pick between it and a Roku, I would still pick a Roku. They opened up the Chromecast SDK, so that might change over time, but for basically, you know, streaming Netflix and from Plex and, and other stuff like that. It works. It works. PlayStation, UPS, uh, printer that I use like once a year. Probably needs to go away. This is a new thing. My wife got it as part of her job. They gave her a catalog and say, hey, pick some fancy prize because we love you. And uh, she picked this thinking to replace her work printer. But she does a lot of scanning. And it turns out this doesn't have any kind of scanner feed. So it's useless for her. So it just kind of sits here. I probably should just chuck it somewhere and then break it out whenever I need to print something three times a year. I did replace the... I had been using home-built uh, tower computers for many years. I kind of got tired of that. I just got tired of fiddling with them. And... Uh, I got tired of the noise and trying to fight the noise and stuff like that. So I got a Lenovo uh, Z15, I think, Haswell i5. Uh, and then I threw in, I took out the CD drive and put in a Caddy and threw in an SSD for the, you know, the home and the main drive partition. And that's got the spinning drive for like the other crap. Very good computer, and it's all Intel. You know, it's Haswell graphics, and it's a Intel uh, Wi-Fi networking. So everything under Linux just works like a dream. Love this laptop. I actually don't think I've ever unplugged it from this desk because you know I, when I go out in the in the field, I, I mostly have littler stuff. Love this laptop though. Very good. It's my new main rig. It's running uh, KUbuntu 1310. I think for the next go around, I'm going to try something different. I'm looking at like Solid K or Manjaro. Something more rolling release and updated software kind of thing. But I like it. Still going through the M Audio speakers. Uh, my main portables, I've got a new Acer Chromebook C720, which has the Haswell processor so it's several times faster than the old uh, uh, Samsung Chromebook I had. Asus Nexus 7. I've got uh, the two monitors up here mounted to the wall. This one is new. This is a Dell touchscreen model. I don't use the touchscreen because it's a little bit wonky on Linux because it considers it an input device and I have two monitors. It thinks a touch on it is on the, the you know, space of the two monitors, so it offsets it way over here, still where it's supposed to be. But in terms, in terms of monitor, it's got like the glass touch screen. It's very, probably one of the prettiest monitors I've ever had. So like that monitor. Got the same mixer, got a new USB, uh, it's like a pluggable USB 3.0 powered USB hub. Same mixer. This is a new mic, which you're not hearing right now. You're hearing my shitty phone. Uh, 
this is a new blue microphone I can't remember the model but it has some built-in signal processing for like voice and flat and instrument and it sounds really really good well, it's got a new webcam this is a Logitech uh, 1080p one of their newer jobs and it's quite nice and I think oh one more thing got some new cans these are Sensenheimer, uh, I think, 558D or something. Like $120 cans, which is more than I've ever paid for headphones in my life, uh, including my wireless PS3 jobs. Uh, but they sound fantastic. I tried some Grados first because they get very good reviews. And I quickly discovered I am not an on-the-ear headphone kind of guy. That shit hurts. I am a circumoral kind of guy, which uh, doesn't mean anything dirty. It just means it goes around your ear like this. Uh, or a earbud guy. I don't like crap pressing on my ears. That is uncomfortable. So these are very good cans. Uh, the one knock on them is they come with a detachable core, which is nice. But it's like 600 feet long. And it ended with a uh, quarter inch jack because it's made for you know audiophile uh, you know kind of stuff uh, but uh, I don't have any quarter inch you know headphone stuff anyway so I uh, ordered from uh, our good friends in China a knockoff replacement cord that's about five feet long and ends in an eighth inch jack and that's much better oh one other thing got a new keyboard this is a Korg micro station the sounds on it are amazing it is, you know, the uh, smaller size keys. Look, Donkey can do an octave. It is the smaller size keys, um, which isn't ideal, but I don't have a lot of space. And for the amount of stuff I do on keyboard, it's perfect. I did have a Roland 88 key hammer action keyboard, which I couldn't really fit anywhere, that I ended up giving to a neighbor because uh, she's like the nicest person in the world. And I find that irritating. So when they, she was a music teacher and they ended up having to sell their organ because of some financial stuff. And she's kind of bummed out without a keyboard. So I gave her mine because she was the nicest person in the world. But then I gave her a keyboard. And now I'm the nicest person in the world. So suck it. That is the state of the office in 2014. And uh, some things have changed. A lot of things seem the same. I still love this IKEA $100 standing desk build. It is incredible amount of space and it's perfect for my needs. And I will be sticking around for a long time. Well, we'll be back with the State of the Office report in 2015. Until then, see ya.